Back in December 2009, I published an article detailing the Christmas truce of 1914. Legend has it that the combatant German and British soldiers put their nationalistic pride aside for a short time and frolicked on no man's land on a battlefield in Flanders at the beginning of the Great War in 1914 for Christmas Day. For 24 hours, they stopped shooting at each other and cautiously walked onto the battlefield to share Christmas carols, exchange gifts, native sweets, and play soccer. It was easy to see there was not so great a difference between the 19-year-old German youth and the 19-year-old British youth. There is a clear indication that under the most extreme circumstances, we can choose to abandon our knower judger positions, which govern our behaviors, and do what we as human beings, as conscientious citizens, as grown-up children, really want to do. So approaching Christmas 2016, we find ourselves post-election, with the nation divided more than ever over how Hillary could have possibly lost the November contest, or gloating about how Donald conquered the Electoral College. Recounts, Electoral College questions, Russian hacks, it seems the two sides are entrenched and lobbing shells at each other over this battlefield of the American political landscape. Perhaps, just maybe, we could take a day this coming weekend and set aside our political imperatives, our liberal and conservative knower judges, and leave the election trauma behind, if just for one day. It still still will be their day after Christmas. Maybe we can embrace our Hillary-obsessed relatives and let go of the stolen election concept. Or maybe we can stop berating Mrs. Clinton for her email naivete and pass the eggnog with a smile. It always was the Founding Fathers' concept that our nation should not be ruled by one party or one philosophy, but be in constant struggle between a Hamiltonian big government model and a Jeffersonian more libertarian approach, and that the two should struggle for influence to the benefit and continuation of our republic. Life is not about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning how to dance in the rain, the quotation goes. Perhaps we can stop shooting each other and learn to dance on the battlefield, if just for one day. May the season give you the courage to let go of your marching orders, abandon your knower judger imperatives, come up and out of your political trenches, even if only for a day, a very special day, and realize there's not so big a difference between the Clintonians and the Trumpeters. May your holidays be at least temporarily peaceful and happy. It's Kim, and this is my Christmas Moment of Clarity.